Since 2010, Chevrolet has been limping the second generation Equinox along, doing the bare minimum to keep it competitive in the compact crossover segment. But for 2018, Chevy finally gave the Equinox a ground up redesign, with a lighter body, by 400 pounds, and chassis, and three new turbocharged engines. A turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder serves as the base engine, and a 1.6-liter turbodiesel that will be available later this summer will be the economy leader. In between is a 2.0-liter four-cylinder gas engine introduced just recently. It's this example that we got to try out in Nashville, Tennessee, to find out if the new Equinox is worth your consideration. Compared with the rest of the segment, the Equinox's 2.0-liter engine fares well more so than the already available 1.5 liter. Only the Ford Escape Titanium with its own 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder with 245 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque comes close to the big displacement Equinox. The front-drive version of that Escape also matches the Chevy for fuel economy, but the all-wheel drive version loses out with 20 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway. The 2.0-liter Equinox also outguns competitors such as the Mazda CX-5, Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, and Nissan Rogue, which all make less than 200 horsepower. That's not an entirely fair comparison, though, since the $30,090 2.0-liter Equinox costs roughly $6,000 more than any of those less powerful crossovers. The $24,525 1.5-liter Equinox is a closer competitor, and its 170 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque are square in the middle of the pack. The impeccably maintained winding roads outside of Nashville also revealed that the Equinox is a fairly agile handler. For a tall crossover, there isn't much body roll, and the chassis reacts quickly when changing directions and is stable through corners. It was further evident the chassis was more capable than the tires fitted to it, which complained at their earliest convenience in the turns. The Equinox exhibited significant understeer when applying throttle in the corners, but engaging all-wheel drive, on an Equinox so equipped, helped mitigate this. The steering isn't quite as enjoyable as the chassis, though. It's fairly sensitive and precise everywhere except just off-center, and it weights up well. Unfortunately, Feedback is slim making it more difficult to place the front tires. Tennessee smooth back roads, while great for driving, made it tough to evaluate ride quality. But we found a handful of bumps exiting Nashville on which the Equinox exhibited more body movement than we would have expected. The suspension also felt fairly firm, but it didn't kick or buck over bumps. The base trim for the 2.0-liter Equinox is the LT and it comes with some useful standard features including the relatively easy to use my link infotainment system that is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also comes standard with a trial for 4G LTE, Wi-Fi and satellite radio. The front seats are heated, and climate control is dual zone automatic with vents for the rear. Safety features are hit and miss, though. On the 2.0 liter turbocharged Equinox, you get the full complement of airbags, stability control, and a rear view camera. It also comes with a teen driver feature, which allows parents to keep an eye on their young driver's driving habits and limit how fast the car can go, and how loud the audio can be. All in all, the Equinox is a crossover that finds itself muddling in the middle of the segment. It's one of the smaller vehicles as far as space is concerned, and it falls short on safety equipment in some trims. Its main advantage is that it's reasonably nimble, and it packs one of the most potent engines in its class but you'll have to pay for that power. So if you're in need of a high output crossover, the Equinox is a solid choice. If power isn't your prime directive, you may want to keep your options open.